Hi, so my name is Antique Alicia, and I'm so excited that you are here. It is my pleasure to really help you go from um, really phase one and two of stepping beyond abuse into this next phase of really reclaiming your power and saying yes to you. So over the course of a few videos, I'm gonna share with you the four steps that you really have to go through, definitely have to go through, to say yes to a life beyond abuse and beyond struggle, beyond like getting by, which is what we're taught to do after abuse. Now, there's two things that I need to say before we really jump in. One is that no matter where you are in this journey, this opportunity, this course, these videos are going to be here for you, um, no, matter, no matter what. And number two is there are two steps to your recovery before you enter into this particular series, this step. The first is if you are still suffering, if you are still in the abusive situation, if you have just gone through the abuse or you have just um, moved through it in it, please contact your local branch of recovery, your police station. There's organizations like RAIN and Talk and Stepping Out Against Abuse and Sulk. And um, we can really utilize those programs. These are for you, these are set up for you to get out of the abusive situation. That is step one, no matter what. You have to be out of the abusive situation. And I'm referring to abuse in two ways. One, either the abusive situation where you are being abused, the abusive situation where you might be abusing, or the abusive situation where you're abusing yourself. It might be substance abuse and or um, other things that we do to cope with, with this, maybe overeating, over um, using. So if these are things that you're currently going through, um, really contact those other places because they are there to help and support you in your area get out of the abusive situation first, that's step one. Step two is really um, going over the abuse in your head. We need to process it, we need to look at it. You need to feel it a little bit because it's kind of scary and then step away from it enough to be able to look at it from a different perspective. That is part of this program, but it's not the whole thing. So if you haven't sought out counseling or professional help in that way where you can really have somebody safe to talk to about what happened to you, what you've been going through, how you feel. Um, this is a very important step. And so there is, again, there's local chapters of places to go, people to talk to, AAs, um, there is local counselors, there's state help if um, resources and finances are a problem. This is beautiful and it's a very necessary step. If you've been through this and you're still like wanting to regurgitate it, I really um, advise you to write your story. Seriously, whether you ever do anything with it, write your story. I actually have my first written story down there. I wrote it when I was 19. It is everything about my recovery and um, huge, huge breakthroughs in my life came from that. So stage one, get out of the abusive situation, find yourself support to get out of that situation. Step two is go ahead and talk about it, get it off your chest, look at it and, and see it for what it was and what it is. Step three is where we're at right now and that is what we're going to dive into over the course of the next four steps to getting your abuse behind you and stepping into your power. So if you haven't met me yet, my name is Antique Alicia. I am actually a leadership coach for women who are walking through struggle, overwhelm, and ready to reclaim their life. I am the best-selling author of From Bondage to Happiness. I'm one of America's premier experts for self-care. And my life, my dedication is to helping people overcome abuse of all forms and really 
end the cycle of abuse for families and for individuals. And that's what we're going to do today. So welcome, welcome, welcome to this program. It is my pleasure and my honor to be gifting it to you. Today in this segment, we're gonna keep it as short as possible. I'm gonna tell you about your six personal power zones. Over the course of the last 20 years, I have found that there are six areas in our lives that we absolutely can have our full power in. There are also the areas that we tend to give our power away. There are also areas that some people try to take our power, and it's our responsibility to take it back. And then over the next three sessions, we're going to dive into how you can take your power back in these areas, some tools and tips for you to do so, and then I'll give you more feedback and more ways that you can work with people like myself or join my community at your own university to work with coaches from around the world to love on your six personal power zones yourself. We also have support and um, a whole bunch of other stuff for you here too. So I'm really excited that you're here with us. What I found with working as a a trauma transformer and working with people over the course of my coaching career is that most people, when we walk through abuse, we're really good at the depression, the anger, the upset, the sadness, the I don't know how to do it, the overwhelm, and the stress. Those are emotions that were really common that we're really good at. Where we struggle is actually the place where you think would be really easy, but it's happiness, it's success, it's, it's, um, it's receiving blessing, it's lightness, it's, it's, it's this leaning into the world is for me and not against me. And so we're gonna flip the switch from this lower vibration, this paradigm of life sucks, to a paradigm of I am going to choose to trust this, and play in the fun over the course of these next segments. And we're gonna do that in your six personal power zones. So here they are. Now you have power and control to love and adore your physical body. And this is a very personal journey for each and every one of us, and it looks like this. You have this body, it is your temple, it is made up of a whole bunch of things, your organs, your skin, your blood, and what you put into it is either loving it or not loving it. Now, if you have walked through some sort of substance abuse yourself, then you might know how, how much a difference it makes when you are eating right and doing things right. If you've walked through a situation where maybe you had a little extra weight on you or a lot extra weight on you hiding, which is very common for survivors, um, this is really big for you to really own and love your body, no matter what size, what, what you think it should look like, but just loving and taking care of your body to the best of your ability. I have met people in every size, every range that love and take care of their body. It's, it's not a size that will dictate this. It is you being really confident in you. So we're going to go over in the next segment some really easy ways that you can love your body that is just going to add some more peace into your life, is going to relieve stress in your life, and allow you to take back the power of really feeling good about how you are loving your body and taking care of it so you can live a long, healthy life with lots of energy. The next power zone that you have is your mind, your mindset. If you went through childhood abuse, this is like big because we are like, when before the age of seven, you might have heard this from a counselor or something, but before the age of seven, you like <laughs> suck up this energy um, of whatever's going on around you. We are literally learning how to be human. So our parents are teaching us how to be human. And the um, absolute... <sighs> shift has to happen in your subconscious mind that programming before you were seven 
And then it's much easier to believe the affirmations, to believe the positive self-talk, to believe things. So what I'm going to give you in this course is a way that you can create your own subliminal messaging in your own voice and really start reprogramming your mind and be the parent that you've always wanted to be. Be the spouse, be whoever um, talked bad about you, whoever wasn't your best friend that should have been your best friend, that you can redo that and start being your own best friend and having great insight for yourself. And um, I have some tricks in the trade to help you with that. So the next thing that we're going to go over is your third power zone, and that is your vibration. So this is your energy. This is how you relate to people. This is that thing that people feel when you walk in the room, the charisma. Um, and there's two things that happen. I looked back and a lot of my clients were really driven, high powered executives and entrepreneurs doing great things in the world who suffered through abuse and what happened was they just went into that full drive speed ahead and then they suffer from from not taking care of their first two power zones from being overworked from not really enjoyment so what we're going to focus on when it comes to your emotional body or this vibrational body is i'm going to share with you how to flip the switch from being really comfortable feeling negative complaining you know, griping about everything, being in that negative frame of, of hoping, right, and, and getting and ah, stress and working and overworking to leaning into your enjoyment because that's the thing that flips the switch more than anything else in the world. It just flips it really fast. So we're going to be talking about enjoyment, what you enjoy, um, tapping into your enjoyment and again, and playing in that arena for you. Really huge. The fourth zone that you are powerful in is your spirit. Now, as a trauma transformer, the biggest shift for people is when we kind of flip the switch and start living inside out, meaning living from our hearts, living from your soul connection, and then your soul feeds your spirit or your vibration, your vibration feeds your mindset, and your mindset feeds your body. And um, when we're abused, what happens is this actually gets shifted because when your soul leaves your body, we're dead. And oftentimes we've walked through a trauma that was life-threatening, whether it was physically life-threatening or mentally life-threatening or just threatening altogether. This is really scary. So getting your seed, your essence of you back into your body and in charge is really, really powerful. I'm going to be walking you through a process that I call a hug. And it's where you really hug yourself. It's a beautiful process that I'm honored to share with you. And it's where you get to meet this part of yourself that is your very life, the very life of life within you, and start having a conversation with this truly powerful manifester in your life to take your power back completely. When your soul is embodied in your body, you, um, I mean, things happen. You hear about people healing from cancer and, and diseases just disappearing and, and their whole life shifting in a day. This is that piece right there. Now, once you have all of that together, that's your core piece. That's the first four steps. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the other two steps. I'll give you kind of a sneak peek of that in this refresher course. And we'll talk about how you can move forward with our organization. So the next two pieces are who you are in your purpose. How are you living your purpose? What is that heart calling in you? Why are you here? What are you here for? I truly believe and I know that us survivors are the number one driven people. We were held down and pushed down for a reason. And that's because we are powerful and strong. And when we have the right relationship with our power, miracles happen world things change i don't know anybody that is really successful and really powerful that hasn't been through hell to get there and chosen to own their power and love it so we're going to go through that a little bit i'll give you a sneak peek there and then the last piece is relationships and i'm talking about how you're in relationship with yourself to be your own best employee to be your own 
best wife or husband, to be your own best friend, to be your own best lover. And what that looks like for yourself, because when we're that for ourselves, when we fill ourselves up, we're not seeking that recognition from anybody else. And then we can also really give that recognition to everybody else too. And that is what we're going to cover over the next couple of videos. I hope that you're really excited. I am seriously excited for you. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. You are divine. You are divine. And it is, you know, if this touches you in any way, if this shifts things for you, we would love your testimonials. We would love you volunteering at one of our events. We would love your donations or sharing this with your friends and your family to help support us get this information information, this training, and everything else that we have going on, our events to your neck of the woods, so we can help more people end the cycle of abuse. Thank you so much for being a part of this Divinely You community and our foundation. God bless. Bye.